Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my second comic haul. I went to two comic book stores this week. On Wednesday, I went during my lunch break at work to the comic book store just about 15 or 10 minutes up the road. And I got a few comics from them. The first one was Miss Marvel by... Uh... I don't know who's it by. Wilson and Afona, I don't know. It was a cool story about this Muslim teenager who doesn't like being Muslim. She she finds her family's controlling her and she wants to step out of it and I think through writing fan fiction with the superheroes like Captain America and Iron Man and uh, Captain Marvel that she's able to do that. So it was pretty uh, funny. Like Here's one of her fan fiction that plays out so it's, it's pretty cool, though the ending is a bit of a huh? moment, uh, and I guess this advertisement for what's coming out from Marvel didn't help at all. I'm looking forward to continuing on with uh, Miss Marvel. Uh, Justice League issue 27, this was fantastic. I basically teared because it was a moment between Victor, who is Cyborg, and his father, which just had me in stitches. I'm happy that we've gotten back to the characters that we've known in the beginning, but I don't think Superman and Green Lantern and then Flash and Batman are going to return anytime soon. I think it's about Cyborg and him trying to defeat the grid. So we'll see how that goes. But it really made me um, quite edgy for the next issue, so I'm looking forward to it, uh, issue 28. Harley Quinn, number one. I actually did not know much about Harley Quinn other than that she was a psychiatrist before she, um... Oh, I don't even know what happened to her. But she's a fun character, and this story was pretty fun as well in this first issue. Joker's Daughter by Marguerite Bennett and Megan Hetrick. And lastly, from that comic book store, the local one, I got issue 28 of Green Arrow, which was so good. Man, it was unbelievable. Loved it. I'm holding out for issue 29. Jeff Lemire and um, uh, Andrea Sorrentino have done an excellent job on Green Arrow. It's just been a whirlwind of a ride and has just been very well done. Pretty cool page here. Um, I won't spoil it. Okay, and then I went to the All-Star Comics in the city because my lo the local comic store that I got those previous books from, they didn't have Ego's Issue 2, which I went solely for. So I tweeted All-Star Comics and got them to put one aside for me, which was fantastic. So here's Ego's 2. I haven't yet read it. I just came home from the store. Love the art. It's just so retro and colourful and... Right, oh, I'm not going to spoil myself. Royals Masters of War by Rob Williams and Simon Colletti. This one's apparently about, um, it's during World War II. These royal families, they all have superpowers, but the more you um, intermingle or mate outside of your bloodline, the less pure your blood is and then the less powerful you are. That's all I know about it, at least I think I know what it is about. I'm looking forward to it. I, I like alternate history stuff and it's really cool to um, have a play on history. Then because I liked um, Harley Quinn issue one, I went and got Harley Quinn issue number two. Uh, yes I did, because it's got cats and dogs on the cover. Uh, it, they're so adorable. And they're all got blood on them. Oh, and parrots and and like a squirrel, squirrel? No, it's squirrel. Yeah, squirrel. Or raccoon or something. Yeah, it's crazy. Looking forward to reading it. I don't know what it's going to be about. This is one that I've been looking forward to very much. It's The Fuse by Anthony Johnston and Justin Greenwood. It's basically a cop procedural in space. Looking forward to it very much. I've heard um, marginally positive things about it. This is a series that the guys at Excalibur CCG TV recommended me. It's Black Science. 
uh, by Rick Remender, Matteo Sclera and Dean White. They said the first one's not that great, but the series just gets exponentially better. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what it's about, to be honest. Um, but the art looks cool. I'm really digging it. So uh, we'll see. Purple. I've been hearing amazing things about Thor God of Thunder, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick up issue 19, which apparently is a good starting point for anyone getting into the series. So I've heard amazing things about this series, I just want to see how it is and see if I like it, and if I like it enough, I'll go ahead and pick uh, from issue number one and try and read it as a sort of backstory or, or prelude um, to the continuation from this issue. I was tempted to also get Loki series, but I did not. And the last book I got was um, City, the Mind in the Machine by uh, Eric Garcia and Javier Fernandez. This one's apparently, um, it sounds a heck of a lot like Person of Interest, that J.J. Abrams TV show. Um, but with this one, the machine doesn't work. And they're trying to find solutions to fix it, and apparently they're solutions that you wouldn't think about. So I'm looking forward to uh, reading it as well. Looks fun. There was this page which really um, hooked me. There's three little kids. It was funny. Four kids, sorry. With guns pointed at them. But, yeah, there, there are all the comics that I got this week. Um, I might do a trade haul. Who knows? We'll see how I go tomorrow. Once I read all the ones I got today, I'll do a review video for all of these books. I'll catch you later. Cheers.